the longer you stayed at a certain base and, and you drink the water every day and, and you showered and you utilize it, the more buildup you have of that chemical in your system and, and the toxic exposure. The obvious kind of people that would be exposed are actual people who use firefighting foam, the right. ones who are extinguishing the, the fires. I had a veteran who was a firefighting instructor and so they would create fires and with diesel fuel and such and, and use the firefighting foam to put them out. He developed ischemic heart disease and we were able to show that his exposure to the particulate matter of you know the fires in general and the firefighting foam caused his ischemic heart disease. This is something very complicated and something that you're not going to get service connected on the first try. It's not presumptive. There's not a ton of research on it yet, but that doesn't mean that, you know, this exposure didn't cause your conditions. Definitely file claims, definitely reach out for advice, um, and eventually you will get service connected for it. If you file a claim and you're denied, once that happens, then we can look at the specific facts of your case and see if, you had enough exposure to the firefighting foam to have a viable claim for. So even though the difficulty right now of getting service connected is pretty high because there haven't been a lot of claims for it, don't let that deter you from filing a claim because the evidence is out there showing that these chemicals cause these conditions. And if you had significant exposure, you definitely deserve service connection for.